So in today's video of survival farming, we had the challenge to come back home to Canada to our grandparents' old farm to take up the offer of reinstating the farm and making a good business and profit out of it. Now I got word from my grandparents that they were losing the farm, so they called me up to take the offer on and the challenge on. Are we going to make it in the big farmer game or lose it all in the end? I don't know. That's what my grandparents called me. Stay tuned to find out. If you guys do enjoy the survival farming series on the channel, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe. Oh man, it was such a long weekend. Uh, yeah, we're back on survival farm, and I we I done a lot the past two maybe week and a half, two weeks now. Got like almost about three hundred fifty thousand dollars in the bank just helping the uh, locals around their farms and doing stuff around that you know that needs to be done around the town for the locals. We made three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I know it looks a little bit different the vehicle that I'm driving. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute once we get back to the farm. I have something else planned also that uh is going to be later on in the video for the farm so we can actually extend it out a little bit and get more room for our farm so yeah like i said over the weekend i actually earned a crap load of money and let me just go ahead and park here and all right so the main thing that's really going to take attention is the semi that is over there with the grain trailer but we have a chevy silverado 3500 dolly just for this farm specifically. And then I got my one of my favorite tractors of all time, the 4020 with a sprayer on the back. That's gonna be a lot of help for the field. And I'll show you guys what I've done with the field later. And that's a brand new trailer as well. So, so what we got here is a semi, I can't remember the name of it, but we got a semi, it's got a Detroit in it. Uh, sounds really good. Also too, coming from last video, I had to buy some hay bales because I could no longer make them or find anybody who had hay bales. So I went ahead and bought hay bales from the animal dealer. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys here in a second after I find my tractor that's in the field and then I'll show you guys the field. Alrighty, so like I said from last video, I gave you guys an option or a choice if you guys wanted to see me round off the field or just keep it square. You guys know me, I like to play realistic as I can be as being doing being on console. Uh, so I just want to play as realistic as possible. So I went ahead and just wiped the field and replowed it to round it off and make it look more realistic. And then I added like, I guess you would call like a tree line with a forest. But later on down the road in the near future, I do got big plans and I'm quote unquote getting a brand new PC again. So there's going to be a lot more content, better content, and I will be bringing FS25 content to the channel as well. And plus later on down the road i do got a big opportunities so let me go ahead and uh, get this time lapse rolling for you guys man i always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights I figure i should probably give it a try baby check it out see what it's all about but the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break. Alrighty, well I just finished cultivating the field. Now we can go over and start the big project for today. So we, I still gotta seed the field. So I'll just do that tomorrow or something after we're done with this big project. But I'll catch you guys over there across the street. All right, so the way this project is going to work, it's going to be right across from my main farm. I already took the field out of this, planted grass, and it already grew because we had a lot of rain the last couple of days. Mind you, it's May 9th now. Tomorrow's the 10th, so I just want to hurry up and get this project done. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into heaven here and then get everything out of the way and done. Here to try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck, paycheck Just ride like a bonfire on a cool night. Yeah, you can 
the brand new farm yard built let me go ahead and park up and I'll give you guys a small tour here alrighty so for this little bit of the uh, farm the brand new farm yard I went ahead and picked this uh, barn it's a modern style barn it's big it looks like a workshop as well so it'll be useful for the farm as well you know I can stick vehicles in here and work on them uh, mainly for my semi and that we got ahead we went ahead and built another small barn over here so we could probably put our hay bales and stuff in there just you know random objects or you know whatever got another implement shed there i don't know what i was thinking when i placed this quonset down i thought it was a bit big bigger than what it looks like but i guess not so these are going to be for the smaller equipment if see i can't lie i kind of like this quonset a little bit it kind of like is like a newer style shed I, I don't know but it's really cool i really like it a lot and then we got more grain bins over here we can store whatever and for the semis to go around the yard itself Alrighty, so it just brought the semi and the grain trailer over only because i don't need it right now i'm going to try to put it in the uh, barn though right there then i'm going to go ahead and hop in the 4020 with the sprayer put that away for now and then we're going to go ahead and prep for uh seed in the field for wheat i believe I love this startup of a brand new 4020 tractor. Gotta love it. Oh man, I'm so tired. I uh, just got done finished cultivating the uh, top half of the field there. I'm gonna go ahead and park this for tonight and then I'm gonna go to sleep until tomorrow morning. Alrighty, well, it's currently the next morning. I had to take care of my cows, give them a little bit of feed and take, a, take out some of the uh, manure that they were building up in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and unhook my cultivator and then we're going to go ahead and hook back up to the cedar and then finish planting our wheat. Alrighty, well, I should have enough seed for at least one headline pass and then come back and then I'll fill up because I know this is a pretty big field and with how many seeds we got in the tank already, it's not going to last three passes. So let's go ahead and get a time lapse running for you guys. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, and it ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. ride. Percy Feast is the spot. 
got done cheating the whole field there as you see in the time lapse i'm gonna go ahead and spray the field but i'm gonna do that in the morning possibly it is getting dark out here pretty quickly it's already getting late and i'm already getting tired so i might go ahead and make a late dinner here and then go to bed until the morning but let me go ahead and wash the tractor off and then i will probably see you guys in the morning Alrighty. well i figured before you know go to bed and make some dinner i did eat a little bit of snack so i'm gonna hop on the 40 20 here which i'm already on go ahead and fertilize this entire field here it shouldn't really take me that long so let me go ahead and fertilize this Just a quarter way through this field of fertilizer and I just ran out so I guess I'm gonna go back over to the farm I'm gonna go ahead and cook some dinner and probably finish fertilizing in the morning I'm not 100% sure yet but either way it's got to get done so I guess I'm gonna have to finish it either tonight or tomorrow morning but I do can say this now I got a lot done this episode and I'm very happy that I did got the second main farmyard built that was my biggest project that I've been trying to conquer for a while on the survival farming series got this complete setup done and it looks absolutely phenomenal but i'll catch you guys in the next episode of survival farming i go straight from the bank gassing up the tank cranking up the radio